what we're going to do is we're going to click on the triangle, the blue triangle to the left. Yeah, so let's right. let this thing load here. Nice, take a sweet time. Okay, perfect. So that is green. We're good with the pixel. Perfect. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the triangle. And do we save this part? Hit, hit your ads manager folder at the top. Let me just see if we saved it. Did you save it under custom conversions? Perfect. Click that one. Awesome. And that, I think that should, should bring us back over to where we're at right now. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. So this is where we start. So here's, here's did I explain custom conversions to you before? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Can't, can't remember. Here, here's a, a, re, a refresh on it. Here's what a custom conversion is. Facebook, when you start running ads, your whole goal is to get them to click, learn more, go to your landing page and fill out the form, mm -hmm. right? So now Facebook needs to know, okay, when they click on learn more, which link are you taking them to? That's the landing page. That's your goal. Your goal is to get them to click, learn more and get to the landing page. That's that. You can look at that as your goal. Facebook wants to know what your ultimate goal is. What's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal is to get them to follow through. So mm -hmm. if, if my goal is to get them to the landing page, my ultimate goal is to get them to the thank you page. Because if I can get people to the thank you page, that means they filled out the form. That means they downloaded my inspection guide because they're, 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 they're getting to my, my thank you page. That's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to get, get them to the thank you page. That's what this is. So Facebook wants to know, okay, if your ultimate goal is to get them to the thank you page, what is that link? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to set up right now. We're going to tell Facebook the thank you page. The thank you page is where we ultimately want to get them to. That's our goal. So click on the blue button. And then what we're going to do here is let's go back to Kartra and let's get, in fact, you might already have it pasted or actually I think you have the calendar. Yeah. You have the scheduling one. So let's, 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 let's click on the dots for the thank you page. And that's going to be our custom conversion. So let's get this link. We'll copy everything except for the HTTPS and the forward slash. Okay. Copy. Copy. Perfect. Oh, hey. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to select a category. We're going to click that, select your own category. We're going to hit that blue link, select oh, your own yep. category. And then we're going to hit the drop down. And we're going to call this one lead. So let's hit the drop down and go down, look for lead. Okay, there it is. Perfect. There it goes there. And then all you're going to do is paste in that URL right there at the bottom. Perfect. Paste in that. Hit the drop down. Hit the drop down. Make sure you, yeah, there you go. Then the blue button should have lit up. Let's, let's, um, let's X out of that link. Get that URL out of there again. No, not that one, just the actual URL. Paste it in again and hit the drop down. So paste it in and then choose it below. Right. There you go. I think it's Why in there. That damn thing lighting up. Um, actually, oh, that's, that's what it is. You didn't name it. Name it, name it at the top. Name it at the top. That's what it is. Mm. Okay, so this one's going to be, this one's going to be um, 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 leads. I mean, this is, that's what it is. It's, it's your thank you page. It's your leads. It's your, mm -hmm. it's your, yeah, it, it's your, let's just, let, let's get a little bit more specific. Let's, let's name it um, inspection guide leads or free download um, leads. Let's, let's name it. Yeah. Inspection guide leads. Perfect. Perfect. Now we can click the blue button create. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create another one as well. We're going to, um, and then you know what, what I want you to do is open up a new tab at the top, open up a new tab, paste it in there and open it up. Because now, now we set it up. Now what, we, what you always want to keep in mind is this applies for custom audiences and the custom conversion. You want to set it up, which is what we just did. Then you want to open it up in, an, in a new page so Facebook can read it. I'll back it up there. Oh, cause, yeah, you did it <laughs> twice. All good. Whoops. All good. We'll delete that one. I'll fix that but, later. <laughs> but now Facebook read the link. So now if you go back to the ads manager, you notice how it's – Inactive, if you refresh the page, it should be active. 
So we should see a green dot and it should be active. It's active now. That's awesome. Good. We'll do one more custom conversion, which will be your scheduling. So let's go to Kartra. Let's get the, the link for the thank you page. And, and this is what the thank you for scheduling page, excuse me. This thank you for Sorry. scheduling. Yeah, so get that link because here's what you'll do. You'll start running, ad, you'll start testing. Like you'll run, you'll run an ad and, and, and run a conversions ad to get people to the thank you page. You'll also want to run ads to test to get people to the thank you for scheduling page. So Facebook will start optimizing your ad, meaning they'll start showing your ad to people who are likely to schedule a call. Okay. And or they're, they're going to start showing your ad to people who are likely to become leads. Mm -hmm. So let's create custom conversion and let's do the same thing. Let's hit the, go ahead and paste that link in, paste that URL in right there at the bottom. I thought I did that. And it wasn't. Well, there it goes. Hit the drop down. You got to always hit the drop down. Now, what we'll do is we're going to hit the select your own category. And then let's go down to, let's look for, hit the drop down. Let's look for schedule. Perfect. And now let's give it a name. Let's give these ones appointments or people who scheduled a call or. Let's go with that. People who scheduled. Perfect. Perfect. So we have our custom audiences for them. We also now have the custom conversion. So now let's hit the create people who scheduled. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now go ahead and, and hit done. Go open up the page in a new tab and then come back over here and hit refresh. Paste. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so, so now let's go back to the ads manager, refresh that page, and let's turn that active. Awesome. Sweet. That right there, Dave, was is is all is is all there really is now actually no there, there we have we have we have more to learn but as far as just the overall looking at everything from a thirty thousand square foot view mm -hmm. those were the most important creating your custom audiences and creating your custom conversion now what we can do if we hit the three lines to the are the three line i don't know the dots if we click the dots to the top left click on the Sorry. dots and now go to the ads manager so those are our two custom conversions so if you click on ads manager and now as we go in to set up another ad or, or a new ad, here's how the, here's how it's going to be set up. It doesn't matter if it's an image ad or if it's a video ad, our ultimate objective is to capture lead. That's all we're trying to do. So now mm -hmm. as we come in here and we click the green button and we go through the ad setup process from this point on, you're going to be using conversions. So you're going to go conversions. Now, if you're ever retargeting an audience, you're, if you're ever retargeting an audience, you can go traffic. So, so you'll run one ad to retarget everyone who maybe watched your previous videos, or you'll run an ad to retarget all those who landed on your, on your landing page, but have yet to opt in. When you, when you're running those types of retargeting ads, those can be traffic. But in the very mm -hmm. beginning, the very first ad, it's conversions. Traffic can be for retargeting, okay? Yep. And that, that'll be a completely different ad. So you'll have one ad for conversions and then you'll have another ad set up under traffic where you're retargeting the audiences. Make sense? Makes sense, yep. Okay, so conversions, let's hit, con let's hit continue, hit the blue one. And so here's, here's the setup. Here's where the magic happens. So now we're in the campaign. So those three tabs are right there at the top, new campaign, new ad set, and new ad. Those are your three tabs. So if you look at the dashboard, those are your three tabs. So this is the first tab, new campaign. We chose conversions. Now what we'll do is we'll hit the blue button, hit next, and then we'll go to the second tab, which is new ad set. 
So it's in the ad set where we're going to tell Facebook which page we're ultimately trying to get people to. Mm -hmm. and, and by default, they plugged it in right there for you. People who scheduled. Now, that's not necessarily who we want to go with just yet. So X out of that. In the very beginning, we're going to just focus on getting people to the leads, inspection guide leads. That's the page I'm trying to get people to. So you'll, you'll click on that one, inspection guide leads. Where's that? Down, 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 down. Down. It's right there. It's, you see the red dots and the green dots? It's the green dot, inspection guide oh, leads. There it is. So that right there, man, that right there, that is not your audience. That is the custom conversion. Now, now the audience, if you scroll up, scroll up a little bit, is that as high, or actually scroll down, yeah. scroll down. So we got the conversion event, but if you scroll down, now right here, right here, you have custom audiences. So from ad number two, what I wanna do is I wanna click the box, click inside the box, search existing audiences. Now what I wanna do is I wanna click on, I wanna, I wanna always retarget my my um my um my visitors so landing page visitors i would put that in right there but again you're going to also want to test traffic right now we're in the conversions objective when it comes to retargeting those audiences we'll we'll also want to test traffic so maybe one run one ad under conversions run another ad under traffic and then and then under the traffic for sure retarget the visitors, but no matter what conversions, traffic, no matter what the heck I'm doing, I'm going to always exclude. So click on exclude. I'm going to always exclude, click the box, check the box or, or click inside of the box. I'm going to always exclude the leads. And I'm going to also always ex exclude those who have already scheduled. So right there, those are your audiences, people who scheduled, go ahead and click on that. I'm excluding them. And I'm also going to exclude the people who downloaded and then the location you can just put in your city or wherever you're targeting and 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 that would target you know whoever you're targeting but it will most likely it will, it will most importantly exclude those other audiences mm -hmm. location united states yeah, you'll exit of that and, and get, get more specific and just put in your county or just put in your town or your city. Ah, okay. and, and also, you're going to go with people living in this location, for sure. People living in this location. So, let's see here. United States. Well, yeah, United States is good. No, exit out of that. You don't want to target the United States. Nope, I'd be out of there. Yeah, just X out. You'll see, just hover over the green and to the right, you'll see the X. Oh, yeah, just, there you there go. It is. So you'll just type in your, your area and then um, you'll hit the drop down right above people living in or recently in. You want to go with people living in. So I go ahead and, and type in your, your area. How about Wakisha? County. Perfect. I'll try that. So go with this. that and then hit the drop down right above locations, right where it says locations, hit that drop down and go with people who live in this location, people living, living. in this location. Cause there is a difference. If you read all those, read all mm -hmm. of them. There's a difference between all of them. Living or recently people recently in this location or people traveling in this location. Yeah. See, we don't want any of those. We need homeowners, yep. right? So, yep. so we're going to go living in this location and then when it comes to the targeting and all that we'll go over that on our, on our next call mm -hmm. but this is what i wanted to cover on this one is making sure that these audiences are set up making sure that the conversions are set up and that's enough for this on our next call we'll cover we'll cover ad sets which are setting up multiple targeting and then and then we'll and then we'll go through a full-blown ad after that Sweet. because Sweet. i don't want to dive into everything man it'll be too overwhelming yeah, it's already a little overwhelming. So, a so lot, now, a lot of buttons. right? Yeah. We have our pages up. We have our custom audiences up. We have our custom conversions up. We have our pixel on everything. Now we need to just focus on, 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 on the targeting, which is multiple ad sets, how to create multiple ad sets. 
And all that is, is multiple targeting. So for example, one ad set, we're going to target people who follow the Home Depot. A second mm -hmm. ad set would be people targeting, or, or it'd be us targeting people who follow Lowe's. A third targeting may be an audience that we target and everybody that's in that third audience are people who follow home and garden, mm -hmm. right? Because these types of people are most likely homeowners. Most likely. Yeah. So, so those are three different audiences, three different targeting that is multiple ad sets. And you want to, you want to set that up. Not that you're going to target. Yeah, it, it is because it is so you can target all three at the same time, but it's only targeting all three for a few days. Mm -hmm. You're going to, you're going to target all three for maybe five days. And after five days, you're going to see which one is giving you the best, the better, the better, the best cost per return or result, I should say. Yep. So Home Depot might be giving you $1 leads. Lowe's, you might be paying $3.25 per lead. And then, and then Home and Garden, you might be spending five bucks per lead. But after five days, we're going to notice that and you're going to shut off the other two that aren't performing well. Mm -hmm. And you just leave on the one that's giving you $1 per lead, for example. Yep. So that's multiple ad sets. We'll cover that on our next call. So right here, you got every, you're, you're, you're looking good, man. You're like literally a step away from, from going live whenever you do want to go live with, it, with, it, with your first ad. That's fun. So, so, but this is the back end. This is all that needs to be set up first. What mm -hmm. I would do is maybe, maybe focus on, 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 on setting up your cart or calendar, focus yep. on fixing up that page. And yep. then, and then let's, let's talk sooner than later, like schedule another call for tomorrow or, or sometime this week. So we, we should can, be able to this yeah. week. We'll set up a, a few different audiences and then, and then that's it, man. Then we'll be good to go. Sweet. And then again, I'm always going to be here, man. So if we ever need to jump back on Facebook ad, look at an ad, look at one that's not performing, like I'm going to mm -hmm. always be here, bro. So you don't have to freaking worry about none of that. And then with Kartra, we can schedule as many calls with Kartra. We can always go over Kartra as well. So it's just these first initial calls that are the most important that, that yeah. have to be done. You know what I mean? So it's all the fundamentals and getting the, yeah, the fundamentals, set up. getting everything set up, man. It's the setup. And, and most people don't even have patience for this. Most people don't want to do this. And that's why most mm -hmm. people don't crush it with Facebook advertising. This needs to be set up first. Yeah. Well, it makes you sense. Know? And it, it sure beats the way that I was trying to do stuff. So yeah. Yeah. So I had no idea there was this much pages. stuff here. So yeah, dude, for sure. For sure. For sure. So, Fix the Karcher pages, set up your Karcher calendar. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, and then, and then schedule our next call and we'll focus on the ad sets on multiple ad sets on the next one. That sounds like a plan. Cool. All right. I appreciate the time today. Yes, sir, man. Message me if you need anything. But um, you have my calendar link, right? Yeah, I think yeah, I found okay. one of your emails there. Perfect, man. So That's, schedule the call and let's let, we'll 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 focus on the next one. Sweet. All right. Well, stay uh, stay away from the fires out there. Yes, man. I will, Dave. Stay <laughs> stay warm. All right. <laughs> stay warm. Sounds, I'll talk, talk to you soon. later. All right, brother. Bye bye. bye.